Hi everyone and welcome back to the Crafty Author. So what we're going to be working on now is a gift that I will be making um, for one of our clients as a closing gift. Anyway, we are going to be using a Cricut machine with this. Um, I'm going to show you what we do ahead of time and then tomorrow when this has had 24 hours to dry then I will show you what we'll do next with it, with the Cricut machine. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint this 16 by 20 canvas. And I'm gonna show you how I do this. So we're gonna get started. So the first thing that you're gonna need is something to protect your workspace because you don't wanna get paint all over. And I certainly don't wanna get paint all over my cutting table, so. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some washi tape and I'm going to tape around the outside so that when I paint, I'm not gonna get it on the backside. Okay, so as you can see now, it's kind of standing up, it's got legs and that's gonna really be nice for when I have to let it dry because I don't have to worry about laying it on something else. So that's gonna work out really well. Um, so what I have here is some burnt orange acrylic paint. And I am using Americana. Burnt orange is the color. So now I'm just gonna put this on my little foam brush. And I'm just gonna brush it on the canvas. Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. So, we went ahead and painted this canvas to get it ready to put vinyl on top of it. And now that it's dried, it's had 48 hours to dry, so it's really, really dry. And I've already taken the washi tape off the back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Cricut Maker to cut our design that we're gonna be putting on this canvas. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I've already prepared my mat with my vinyl. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and click make it. Okay, so we're getting down towards the end and we're just about ready to uh, be finished up here and getting ready to weed the vinyl. This is very intricate, so I want to go very slowly with this. Okay, check that part up. Yay, success! I'm going to be using an old frame that we picked up at the Goodwill for 99 cents to put underneath the canvas. Now this is not going to hurt the picture at all. It's just gonna give me a hard surface so that when I'm putting this on, I can actually get the vinyl on there and it's not soft. You want something hard underneath. You can use books, um, you can use cardboard. I have used books before and it works really, really well. My scraper and I use contact paper as transfer paper, transfer. So, catch. Okay. I'm just smoothing this out. There's a bit of a little wrinkle, but I think it's because I wrinkled the, the contact paper before I did this. So now we're going to rub this down. We're going to make sure that we get all of this onto the contact paper around here. Look beautifully. All right. Oh, that's stressful. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Now 
please stop sticking to yourself. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and move this bad boy over. And I'm gonna make sure that I can feel that. Make sure it's pretty solid, and it is, okay. Now I'm gonna just lay it down and kinda eyeball it. I'm on the hook for the photo frame here. By the way, you can reuse your uh, contact paper after you're done. I probably won't reuse this one due to the paint factor, but you can. And we have a beautiful summary. That's what it looks like. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put a layer of Mod Podge on top of this because we want to seal the vinyl. This is what I use. I use Mod Podge. And this is the gloss water-based sealer glue and finish. This is like miracle stuff if you haven't ever used it before. Crafting with me is fun because it's a mess. Mod Podge. Just put a layer of uh, sealant on top of this. It will dry clear. It's going to go on white. It'll be fine. Thanks for joining the Crafty Author today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will link down below to all of the Cricut things, items that were used today. Uh, Cricut is currently having a Black Friday sale. And if you purchase a machine or any of the items to make this or to start making your own crafts, um, if you do purchase through my links, I do make a small commission because I am a Cricut affiliate. So, and of course that's always appreciated because it helps me to make, um, to help make the channel grow. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, please keep your comments positive. We are a positive, uh, channel here. And also if you would like, you can follow me on Facebook at, the Crafty Author. You can follow my blog at craftyauthor.com. And I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. So I look forward to seeing you all next time. Thank you.